Hey there folks, so today's recipe that I want to go over is spiced onions because quite frankly no Indian meal is complete without them um, and they're damn easy to make, um, cheap to make and they're really really tasty and um, so much better than anything you're going to get out of a supermarket um, so without further ado let's crack on and make these babies so this recipe is really easy to bulk out and make larger quantities if you want. I'm going to be showing you here with a single white onion, but if you want, for every third onion you're actually making, if you're increasing the batch size, make it a red onion. It just adds a nice little contrast to the, to the onion flavour. First things first then, cut the top off your onion just so you can then peel all the brown skin away that we don't need. And then it's a case of we're going to finely chop this first of all by cutting it in half and then we're going to take vertical cuts as thin as we can make them because the smaller the onion bits you've got here, the more finely chopped it is, the nicer the actual spiced onions will be. So once your first set of vertical cuts are complete, turn the onion 90 degrees and chop it as fine a cut as you can make as you just saw. And to stop those eyes from weeping, cover it in a kitchen towel just over the top and that stops any of the fumes getting up and make me continue to cry. So the first thing we're going to do is add half a teaspoon of salt followed by half a teaspoon of mild chilli powder to our onions and then we're going to give this a good mix. Now you can add a hot chilli powder if that's your personal taste but it's still a good kick just using the mild. So just as you see here, grab a spatula and mix everything thoroughly. You can't tell if the salt's mixed, but because the chilli powder's going in at the same time, once you see the chilli powder's mixed thoroughly, you know your salt's also mixed thoroughly as well. And next up, what we're looking to do is add 75 millilitres of tomato ketchup, 5 tablespoons, whichever measure it is you prefer to use. Once we've got all that added, again, mix it thoroughly. And now we add three quarters of a teaspoon of each of the following, which is basil, malt vinegar and sugar. This is to simulate um, mint sauce, which can also be used, which is the way many would do it. But due to allergies in our household, mint's a no-go. So this is a great substitute, which I think gives a better flavour. And the final ingredient is simply two tablespoons of mango chutney. That just helps round out all the flavours before you're going to stick it in your refrigerator, well actually you're going to jar it up, and then you're going to stick it in your sealed jar in the refrigerator to let those flavours settle in and mature. Ideally, you look to give this at least a full day, so 24 hours, but it's a really simple thing to make, so if you're planning to make yourself an Indian meal, you can bang this up the day before, get it in the fridge, and then that's you ready to rock and roll with a lovely little accompaniment. So unfortunately there's no taste test with this one because due to complications, i.e. I forgot, um, there is no footage of me giving a wee taste sample of this one, but go ahead, try it. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. I freaking love them. Um, they're as good as any I've ever had at a restaurant, if not better, to be honest. And they're very simple as well to tailor to your own taste. So if you want them a wee bit spicier, make them Punjab style, um, go with hot chilli powder just to give it that more of a oomph if that's what you're looking for but honestly just as it is there's such a big flavour kick so go on give it a try stick feedback in the comments if you do I'd love to hear from you and thanks for watching take care folks